All right, guys, this is kind of a fun video. I just, I don't know, I I kind of ran this concept a long time ago, and I find that it's actually really good in Madden 22. So this could be the start of something new. This could be the start of a new meta forming here in Madden 22. Uh, and anyway, let's just have some fun. I'm just excited. This is kind of a cool little blitz. It's not, I'm not going to sell you that it's the best blitz in Madden. I don't think that it is. We've broken down better pressures here on the channel, but it's a really fun blitz and it's a passive pressure where you're only sending, I think I'm only going to send two people. I might send three, but I just want to mess around with the concept a little bit with you, show you this. This comes to us out of the 245 odd defense. Now, if you're uh, new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. I do videos like this every day that help you. Uh, sometimes my videos are just super straight to the point. Sometimes I do like, like 60 seconds or less. And then sometimes I kind of actually break down what's going on in, in any way. So um, if you are looking to get better at this game, be sure to subscribe. Also, if you want to get my full 245 odd defense, um, I believe that it is one of the most unique and honestly glitchiest defenses in the game. The pressure that you can create from 245 odd is unlike any pressure that you can create in this game. It is very glitchy. It is very effective. It's very effective against Gun Bunch, which is probably the best offense this year. I mean, no, there's no probably to it. It's the best offense this year. So that being said, if you want to get my 245 odd defense, there's a link in the description. You can get it for just 15 bucks. And we're going to share with you a fun little defense today. So I'm excited about this video. Um, quick disclaimer, quick disclaimer. Um, this is a concept that can be applied to other plays. Okay, it doesn't just have to be out of 245 odd. We're going to show it to you out of 245 odd. Because honestly, I think it's very effective out of two, four, five odd. I'm gonna first show. Um, I'm gonna first show kind of the, the the origin of the concept, and then we're gonna expand on it for for two, four, five odd. So the origin comes to us from three, three, five. Will Buck slant three. All we're gonna do is we're gonna come out. We're gonna contain, and then we're gonna just uh, zone the slot out. And what you're gonna see is we'll get this kind of um, kind of weird little br weird little blitz angle. Let me show it to you again. I think I broke this down earlier this morning. Uh, for you guys, but basically, and I got a video on this on my channel as well. I'm sure some other YouTubers do, but anyway, just spread your line, spread your linebackers contain. You'll see that, see that right there. That's the concept. This idea of a uh, a, a looping contain rush um, is really the concept that we're going for. So I'm going to show you how to do this out of two four five odd. I think two four five odd is a just a really good defense this year. Um, and the cool part about the way I'm going to show it is you can actually turn your auto flip. Uh, you can have auto flip on so you don't have, it's not it's it's not you don't have to like put yourself in a disadvantage coverage wise to be able to run this play so anyways let's just show you the blitz uh the concept and then we'll go over kind of what we're doing so we're using the play sam mike three press you can also use the play sam mike one honestly and eh, those are the two that i'd recommend sam mike three press or sam mike one okay all we're going to do is we are going to zone out the linebacker on the left. So we're going to get a Mabel concept going. Um, this is a very good Mabel, Mabel defense, okay? Um, but we're going to zone that guy out. We're going to keep it contained. Now, as you can see here, it shows that this, um, see how it shows you that, blit, that glitchy contain angle. Now, if I just snap the ball, more than likely it won't work. As you see, it does not work. Why? Because the contain is too close to the line of scrimmage. Now, last year's game, you could do some stuff with the contains at the line of scrimmage. This was um, actually a pretty popular concept at the beginning of last year's Madden. What we would basically do is we'd put this guy on a contain, um, and I can't do it here, and probably because I moved him, but essentially we would like pinch our contains. As you see right here, this is kind of what I'm getting at. And then maybe do something essentially like this, and these contains would just freak out the offensive line. Now, in this game, it's not the same, but that was a concept that we, you know, you might want to look into. There could be some stuff in there, and I guarantee you there pretty much is. But, but anyways, for this video, what we're doing is we are going to pinch our linebackers. So what you'll see is that you see that it creates this. Now, you would think that you could crash your defensive line down and make this blitz even better. You cannot, so don't do that. Okay, just run it like this, and what, watch what happens. You'll see he'll loop around. And you'll get that little loopy uh, contain rush. Now, what I like about this pressure is two things. The first thing is you don't have to send a lot of people. The second thing is it's sneaky pressure. They're going to think that this pressure is not going to come in and they're going to just sit in the pocket. And the next thing you know, they're going to get sacked uh, just, by, just by the very nature of the pressure. So, again, literally all we're going to do 
is we're going to put the linebacker on the left side into a hard flat. Or if you want to, let's say you're playing um, with your cloud flats as your like default zone that you're going to play deep. Um, then what I would just basically you want your linebacker in the underneath zone, like because he's going to take away running back quick throws. OK, that's why I like this so much. Um, it's going to give us really good coverage on the play. So anyways, um, put your linebacker in a hard flat. You've got a seam flat. You've got two seam flats. OK, then you're going to QB contain. And then I personally prefer to uh, pinch my linebackers just like that right there. OK. And then what you can even do is you can stand in this gap with our uh, with this uh, linebacker. I find that this is very effective. It looks very similar to another blitz that I like to use out of this formation. So it's going to kind of fit schematically with what we're trying to accomplish. And then what I want to recommend to you is to go ahead and blitz your linebacker. The reason why is because we want the guard to kind of react to us. Okay. Um, and then QB spy that defensive nose tackle. This is going to give you another zone over the middle. You could also put him in a bluff blitz, which is a very effective zone as well. Um, and then put the defensive linebacker on the right side of the screen into a hard flat. So you see we've got great Mabel coverage. And then we're going to run this little blitz right here. And look at this thing just loop around. It's not always going to come in. But I have found that if the contain doesn't come in, you kind of get this like disengage almost uh, animation. Now, the cool part is you don't just you can also run this if you want. If you want to spread your linebackers, you can also run that like that as well. Um, it's the same exact concept uh, as you can see here. Uh, sometimes I've noticed that the I think the pinch linebacker we give the contain more opportunity to get to get where we want it to be. Another thing that you can do with this. Um, that I actually do like as well is an, another kind of version of this is if we spread our linebackers or I'm sorry, not spread our linebackers, but um, whoops, I'm sorry. If we pinch our linebackers in three, three, five odd, you would spread them, but in this formation, you would pinch them. So if we pinch our linebackers and then we have QB contain, when we show blitz, what you'll see is this guy will go into the gap. Um, you can just manually drop him back. If you want to do something like that, um, that's another little tactic that you can use with this is you can kind of drop this guy back into a contain. And as you can see here, you can kind of set it up like this. Now, I will tell you that this is terrible run defense. So don't, if they're going to run the ball, this is not going to work. But as you see, your loop, it, it, that's the concept. It's a contain coming from depth to get some pressure. So let me show you again the pinch look. So again, I'm just pinching my linebackers and then I'm going to drop that left side guy into a QB content or a, uh, a zone. And then, I mean, literally you don't have to, you don't have to come down here. I just like to, I think it's, I think it's going to help the, the play. Uh, but as you can see, we've got pretty solid coverage on this. I mean, about as good coverage you can ask for. And you see that looping pressure come around and do a really good job at getting pressure on the quarterback. So you're able to run Mabel coverage, and still have a pretty good shot at getting pressure. Now, why I like this, one of the number one reasons why I really like this blitz um, is because it's most pass protect, because it's a passive pressure, most of the traditional ways of picking up a pressure aren't going to work. As you see, we're only blitzing two people. Um, you'll see here I delay faded the tight end. As you can see, I come in completely clean. So that's a six-man pass protection that I'm able to come in completely clean on. Now, let's say they blocked a running back, okay? Now, more than likely, the running back blocking can give us a little bit of problems. But I will tell you that contain, very specific, the contain blitz um, can actually do some really interesting things to a blocked running back. Uh, right there, they ended up picking us up. Obviously, we got great coverage, though. So I'm just telling you, the coverage from this is really, really spectacular. It's about as good a coverage as you can ask for. Um, if, you, if you base align your coverage... There's not, there's nothing like gain. I mean, there's nothing lost. Um, it does sometimes help because you see, look where this guy's at. He's a little bit more inside than he was originally. But again, all we're doing is containing, pinching our linebackers, and then what? I, and then we're just zoning people out. So I mean, that's literally it. Um, but if the running back blocks, which you'll see here, uh, is typically that contained blitz will kind of freak out a little bit. But what I will also tell you is one other thing you can do to get this to be a very effective defense if you're thinking about uh, Gun Bunch in particular and some of the things that people like to do. Instead of putting this guy in a flat zone, just man him up on the running back. And I've found that this can be very effective for glitching out the running back. So let me just show you a running back block in here. 
you see you get these little cr crashes and stuff and we're not able to come in there but you see i mean we're only sitting two people we've got really good pressure against a delay fade the running back blocking can give us a little bit of a problem but i will tell you that i have also seen this blitz very consistently come in as well um so you know i wouldn't just sit there and think well as a block of running back it's going to be all done um i have seen this blitz glitch out of uh, a running back blocking very similar to the 335 wide the way that the 335 wide blitz does that but what i absolutely love about this is again we're only blitzing um we're only blitzing two people that's it so we're blitzing two people we have plenty of opportunity to create coverage out of this and oftentimes i will tell you that that contain rush will come in completely clean uh at the quarterback if they don't block anybody or if they if they don't block the running back if they block the running back there's some other ways that we can create pressure uh which we go over that in our defensive guide out of this formation but another thing is this I'm telling you, don't sleep on just blitzing the nose tackle, the three-man version. I really like that. I find that it's a little bit more consistent, as you can see. Um, it's, it's, I mean, it's not just a little bit. It is way more consistent. And then I didn't. I wanted to hit on this one more thing real quick uh, before we go, and that is the spread linebacker look. So if you want to come from like a spread look, you just need to back. Um, so we're going to basically crash our D-line to the left, and we're going to QB contain. And then we're just going to kind of move this guy over so they're basically symmetrical, just like that. Now, like I said in the beginning, this is not great against the run, but I find that it's a pretty glitchy little pass defense um, and can oftentimes you know, give us some pressure as well from the same idea. Uh, but there you see the guard did pick me up. But again, that's just something you can tinker with, mess with. We've talked about at length from the 245-odd defensive guide, you know, how to consistently get pressure. But this is a concept that I think, you know, you could kind of add to it that makes it even better. And we've, you know, we'll break this down and all that stuff in the guide for you guys uh, and give you updates as we need to. But by and large, this is one of my favorite blitzes right now because it's really simple. There's, it really is. It, it's really simple, but man, it can be really, really effective. And I mean, you just put yourself in a position where it's hard because there you're going to finally be able to Mabel and have a pretty decent opportunity to play some pretty solid coverage. Um, you can also go with this look from a spread. So like if you don't pinch, um, and I didn't go over this as much as I wanted to in this video, so we'll just show this. But you can spread your linebackers, and again, you see that that tackle. That's really what the that's really what the saw or the the the, the defensive like weakness is is occasionally that guy won't won't get glitched out but most of the time i, I would say probably 75 percent time especially in game you get that animation right there and as you see i mean we're just coming in and again it's pressure that they're gonna feel and what i really like about this pressure is like i said they're gonna think that the pressure is getting picked up they might think oh well, of course that tackle is gonna guard him and then next thing you know, you know, you're coming around the edge absolutely screaming. So anyways, I love this blitz. It's a lot of fun. Try it out. If you want to get my 245 odd defensive guide, there's a link in the description below. You can get the entire defense right now for just 15 bucks. All you got to do is go down to the description, click on that link. It'll take you right over to the website and we'll get you uh, squared away within five minutes. Again, this is kind of a fun concept. We have a ton more concepts that scream way faster. And we have like a two-man pressure that just absolutely screams off of both edges. So absolutely insane. If you want to get the 245-odd defense, there's a link in the description below. And like I said, it costs just 15 bucks.